oh hello this is not a spring chick and there's so many things that are happening in fact unemployment has wait no unemployment has bottomed out housing has peaked and life is let's just say nice and rosy well for now we're going to bring old cam on with comments on the headlines of today <laughs> okay we're laughing because of course i reversed it I know. but was anybody paying attention yeah. housing has bottomed out and unemployment has peaked that information came from the Obama administration, who has been, okay, remember it's Tuesday, when they bring out the new figures on Thursday, housing will be in a crappy shape and unemployment is going up. But put it this way, they aren't hiring anybody, they're letting people go, which means unemployment has not peaked. Mm -hmm. And and they're, they're, they're so worried about housing that Cal, like, like California under Jerry Brown is planning to seize people's bank's property in order to protect them for the public. They're going to seize the property, give it to the people free of charge that are owning the home, that used to own the homes. And then after the situation is rectified, then since California is then the owners, they will then set the price to sell the homes to the people. And uh, they said, well, where are they going to get the money? Well, the banks deserve it. Mm -hmm. They deserve what happens to them. You see, they sold people homes because the government says sell them the homes and now the government says, we're going to seize the homes that we ordered you to sell that they couldn't afford and not pay you for it and put you out of business because you people are crooks. Well, no, they did what they were told to do. It's just like the, the Penn State thing. They're not penalizing the people at Penn State for what they did do. They're penalizing them for what they've never been charged with. And Air Force. Oh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. Well, the news today was just unbelievable. You know, the Obama administration proudly came out, White House came out today. Statistics now from everybody, said, from all the well-known economists say the housing market has peaked. Uh, the guy that made the statement used to, work at, he used to work at Goldman Sachs, who made the figuring out that the problem is now over. Then, well, the unemployment has now peaked. The one that said that is Goldman Sachs and most of the people in the Obama administration worked for Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. So Goldman Sachs basically today, who is basically on the verge of being put out of business by the Justice Department, all of a sudden discovered the market is roaring now. Mm -hmm. In Colorado, suspect was was brilliant science student. Yeah, he, was, he, he still is. Okay, they, here's one that is bothering some of the people now. They're saying the guy is either a brilliant actor, which everyone knows he's not because they know they've got his background, or he's a total empty shell. And that scares them because an empty shell will never get, never, they'll convict him. They always convict the people in Colorado because you can't prove know, it. Like... No, you cannot use an insanity defense in Colorado, but then it goes to the Ninth Court of Circuit Appeals and they basically say, you know, you can't do that mm -hmm. because the guy is. He's not all there, folks. The guy was dressed, he came in as a Joker, waiting for Batman, and he basically doesn't know what's going on around him, period. He has no clue. Remember, Colorado's the one that they can't do anything with the guy that shot Giffords because everybody in the entire universe, except the state of, uh, state of Arizona, will admit that the guy is not all there. And they're forcing him to take medication to try to make him... Okay, all the medication in the world, one of the doctors said last night, he said all the medication in the world is not going to make homes return this universe. He is now in a, he's in the twilight zone, and he was obviously went into it last month sometime, and no, look, I worked on a movie a long time ago called Captain Newman, M.D., and uh, it had to do with, he was a psychologist, and he was trying to figure out how to get people back to war, and um, he had Eddie Albert, was a great war hero. There was nothing wrong with Eddie Albert, nothing at all, until he turned. And when he turned, he became a bird, and he decided to go fly. And that, Are you that, serious? That was, in a, that was in a movie, because that was the whole thing. He said, that I, I should have known when he was going to go over the edge. No, you, you do not know when a person is totally self-controlled is ever going to go over the edge. Holmes was, I understand, a totally self-controlled individual, and his self-control finally went. And that, mm -hmm. you can't, no, you never know when that's going to happen. And how newspapers cover the Colorado massacre. Well, George the, the, Floyd, word, the word massacre. Yeah, first of all, 
It wasn't a massacre. He just shot a lot of people. Massacre is when you really kill a lot of people. Massacre is when my lady, when you go and kill everybody in Vizio. Massacre is when the, uh, when the, uh, you know, what the Indians did to Custard. Massacre is what the cavalry did to the Indians after they killed Custard. Those are massacres. Twelve people getting killed. That's just a typical gunfight in Chicago, mm -hmm. which they pointed out. Let's see. Uh, what was it 14 people were killed in Chicago the same day that the massacre happened in Colorado and got no coverage. And Obama Romney views have evolved toward gun rights. Yeah, you know, Obama Obama basically we need to seize all the weapons, but we're not going to even talk about it till after the election because if we talk about it, it's a losing proposition because uh, everybody but the people on the far left want guns taken away. <laughs> I mean, Everybody but those on the far left. The far left wants to bust into homes and seize them with military force, which should get everybody in the military. I can tell you my father was once ordered to um, go in with a bunch of people and take firearms from a guy that had been ordered not to own them. And my father told him no. He said no. And they said, he, you know, and then the other officer said, then I'm going to go, I'm going to shoot us all. I know. So they did not go in. I mean, they just let the guy come out. When the guy come out, then they grabbed him and went in. But they actually wanted, we're talking 70 years ago, before actually before World War II started, they ordered him and other motorcycle officers to go into an apartment building where a guy lived and seize the guns. It was a fruitcake to begin with. Now, you, you don't think you go into an enclosed environment with a guy that's got a whole house full of guns? You can't kill everybody. And suspect arrested in L.A. homeless stabbings. That was a homeless person. Oh. Isn't that amazing? Was he ro robbing them? No, he's just killing people. And oh. they, uh, this is the whole trick is, uh, are they going to go, oh, I got a great oh, um, Here. Uh, are they going to come into your home and take all of these away from you? No. Oh, when they do that, how about... That's, that, these are just as dangerous. Are they going to take those? That's that's gun control at its worst, folks. Because you can't. Because my father, when he was young, the a teacher went crazy at the um, at California Polytechnic, and he took a two before and was killing everyone in sight with a two before. That wasn't a gun. That was a two before. Before there were guns, there were bows and arrows. There were rocks. Two befores. Guns, are, you're not going to have any change in anything, but if they want, they'll kill you with something else. Mm. And university officials defend handling of homes withdrawal. Uh, well, yeah, my guess is he didn't withdraw. My guess is they tossed him out of college because he, uh, he, oh, really? he probably was uh, not doing his work. So he probably got, you know, you didn't do this and didn't do that. They're refusing to tell you what his, um, you know, what his grades were like when he left. Message and bottle found after 35 years. Because it takes a long time to get from one part to another. The oceans do not move at a very fast speed. <laughs> and uh, Propecia turned me into a woman, a man claims. I know. I, that's impossible. Everybody knows that. But he's trying to get money from it. So. Oh, and the University of Colorado gets suspicious packages on Monday. Oh, guess this is getting to be asinine, folks, because everybody is trying to... Okay, this is the way it works. If I'd have went there, I'd have killed the SOB. You know, that's, uh, you know, we need to teach those people, okay, NCAA is probably going to suspend the football program at the University of Colorado because they didn't break a law. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you don't break laws, the end they'll, be, and they'll probably fine them $100 million to give the families of the people that were killed. And Obama to go to Israel after his election. He hasn't been there yet. He ought to go right now. That would probably make more sense. But if I win re-election, I'll go to Israel. And, uh, yeah, that's a beauty, isn't that? No, and sorry. who is James Holmes? He's a, he was a brilliant person that simply went over the edge. Uh, it, it happens all the time. The more brilliant a person is, the more likely that person is to snap mentally. Ooh. And man skips hearing, feared he tried to avenge sister's death and skips hearing. Yeah, and there's nothing like a, it's called, because he did something stupid, I'm going to do so. I also, i got to go back to an analogy. I worked on an episode of Gunsmoke where they told the father they would take care of the problem. James Arnest, Matt Dillon would take care of it. So the father went out and killed the people, and he said the only person 
that is going to be uh, going to have to pay a penalty is the children of the guy because he didn't let the authorities handle the problem. Animonti bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. We're, we, we're the only country in the world where you can be convicted for what you didn't do, not for a crime that you committed. Isn't that good enough? <laughs>